Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your casual keyboard guy. Um, today's lesson is being sponsored by my subscriber Terrell. Thank you for the donation, my brother. Um, song he requested was uh, "Blame It on the Rain" by Millie Vanilli. Uh, man, I remember these cats from back in the '90s, man, when I was a young boy, a little kid. And um, it was funny they got found out that they actually were um, lip syncing, so they weren't actually singing their records, man. And they could dance and perform, but man, they couldn't sing, I guess. But hey, they made a lot of money, so hopefully they didn't get sued. <laughs> Maybe they did. But anyway, let's get into this song, uh, Lame on the Rain, Milli Vanilli. I'm going to play through it a little bit, and then I'm going to break it down. That's enough of that. Let's get into it. So, um, and I'm gonna change it to the key of, I guess that would be, it goes from, um, I guess E to F for these different changes. I don't know why they did these changes like this in this song, but uh, anyway, let's start from the uh, top. So, 
basically you got all this little stuff in the beginning and then they come in with the piano part with a, like one of the little melodies. All right. So let's do it like that. So we're gonna start with the melody. So the melody is gonna be. So when we do the blame it on the rain or we're gonna hit a chord. So you got E flat, C sharp, B, A flat. That's the melody. And we hit that E. We'll come down with the E chord. So it's gonna be A flat, B, and E. So Yeah, so we got, and the bass is pretty much, is just pretty much bouncing like a uh, bop bop bop, almost like a uh, Shaka Khan. Ain't nobody. It's kind of doing like a similar bounce to that. But anyway, so you got, uh, then uh, so the bass it goes to this B chord. So you got B in the bass, G flat, B, and E flat. Okay. B major chord. All right. So first chord is going to be E, like this. Second chord is going to be a B, like this. All right. And then we're going to put the melody to it. Then hit the melody again. And then you're going to uh, go to this F sharp or uh, the G flat major. Okay, so you got C sharp, G flat, and B flat, with a G flat and a bass. So you get this chord, and then you're gonna walk from the G flat, A flat, to the B flat. So, so, all right. So B flat, A flat. So that's the last chord, and then we're gonna take it to the middle verse. So. In fact, make it easier to do that. Hit this chord, then hit the A flat, and then bring the chord down again. That'll be easier. So. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong note. Start over. Now we're going to be into this next part on B flat. Okay, B flat, D, F, B flat, and the bass. Okay. So basically, all these chords are off of B flat bass. Okay, for the most part. And this, yeah, yeah, most, yeah, all these chords are off, off of B flat. So don't worry about the bass. This, this whole pretty much pedaling off of this. And you can make it funky if you want, like, you know, octave or something. Had no fun with it, but basically, let me show you the chord. So, B flat, and you have E flat. So, so, you got B flat, D, F, second chord, taking the D up to E flat, the F up to G. That's the second chord. So, E flat over D flat. So, all right, so stay on the E flat. Major service sus, the way I'm playing it, it's sus. I'm gonna add that, that's a nine. That's how I usually play the chord, but now I'm putting the, the nine in there, so that's uh, so it's A, C, F. It's real simple. A, C, F, remember, B flat stays the same. So I'm gonna change this. Alright, so that's the, that's the next chord you will play. And then 
you go back to the E flat twice, and then you go back to the B flat. So let me show you the pattern. So. Seven. Back to E flat. Stay there. Now, before you go to this B, they do this little line. That's a little. This, this is this line is a little advanced, but I'll show you what I hear. They go. They, let me see. Do they do it straight or do they do it? Let me see. Let me, let me listen to it real quick. I know they do a line real quick. Yeah. Something like that. So when they do that right before they get back to the, the B flat, and then he hits the B flat again to start the, the second part of the verse. So that's what that arpeggio is, is going to be B flat, A, F, C. And it just repeats it. So. And then I think they end on the A, and then they go to the B flat. So something like that. So again, the pattern is B flat, A, F, C. They repeat B flat, F, B flat, A, F, C, A. So, the, so let's go from the uh so somewhere so it goes somewhere let me slow it down so so somewhere right there okay one more time Second half of the verse, same chords. Now this time, after this E flat, all right, they kind of they kind of get off of that. So they only do the B flat chord to the E flat chord, and then the E flat chord again, and then we into the chorus. Or the pre chorus, the pre chorus. All right, so that part. Starts on the E, then you got a B, E, A flat with E in the bass. And I hear this little melody that the piano is doing, something like, something like that. So I'm doing a B, E, A, uh, a flat on my chord. So I'm, then I'm doing a B flat, E, then B octave for that melody. So. And then we're gonna go to just B triad, B, E flat, G flat. Okay. And then I heard those melodies doing something like just something like that, like a B to the G flat. So and they do the same thing, and then they're gonna go, gotta blame it on something. So that chord is gonna be a C sharp minor seven. So you got C sharp B E A flat. Okay. Gotta blame it on something. That's the blame it on something chord. And again, blame it on something. And then they break it. Okay. And then they come in with that melody. Blame, blame it on the rain. Yeah. All right. So that's.
let's take it from the the uh, the pre-chorus. So this this little change, um, they don't do this in the in the in the beginning because it's similar to the beginning when we start off, but they put this extra little part in this chorus. Um, it's like a A minor, A, uh, a flat minor. So they they do like a, a little melody on this. Let me show you. So it was like. So what you do, let me see where we at. So it's kind of like the blame it on the, but we just doing it. Instead of coming down, we going up. So it's just the same notes to blame it on the, but it's going to boom, 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 boom. So we just going up instead of down, okay? And that's going to be over A flat. So I'm trying to see, I don't want to show you this chord here. So, um, let's do it like this. So, we hit that A flat, you're going to do A flat, B, C sharp, and then hit the A flat minor chord, okay? So, So let me give you that one more time. So you got the A, A flat minor, so A flat, B, E flat, and then you're gonna do the melody. Boom, boom, boom. So So uh, you actually know I hit the, the bass twice. Just hold it. All right, so you're doing that same melody. So you're hitting the, the A flat minor, the melody. I think it'll just be easier to do the melody over that line. Um, so yeah, so. That's a nice little, I like that, I like that line. All right, so let's, let's, uh, so I know I changed this part a couple of times, but I think it'd be easier that way. Cause sometimes when I learn it and then when I teach it, it's kind of like my brain just flips like, oh, this would be easier. Cause I know you just want to have fun. Most people don't want to learn, you know, all the craziness. They just want to, you know, be able to play comfortably. So, uh, but you are playing the chord, so don't worry about that. So you got um um. Uh, let's go from the. Uh, Melody is gonna be on the A flat. Second melody is gonna be on the E. You gotta hit the bass first and then melody. Bass. Then you're gonna land on this E chord. Blame it on the rain. A flat, B, E. We already learned this chord. And then we're gonna do the A flat minor again, but it's gonna be an E major. Okay, but we like it's an A flat minor chord with an E in the bass makes it an E major seven. So yeah, yeah. All 
how we're gonna resolve it. So E flat, A flat, B, E flat. We follow the melody and then we're gonna hit this B chord, E flat, G flat, and B. Alright? So let's get out of this part. So Last time, play through. You can blame it on the rain. All right, go back to this this uh, G flat. We learned this from the intro. You can blame it on the rain. Remember, we did that the same 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 pattern. You can blame it on the rain. Remember that we did. All right, and then we back at the top. Same as that progression. All right, so we're gonna move on. It's the same progression as the second, the second verse, first verse. Second verse is exactly the same. So um, the next change comes in. So they, they pretty much do the same thing. And then even when they come out of that, um, they come out of the, remember they come in. Same thing. So the change comes in um where they go blame it on the rain so instead of them doing remember remember the, the, the first time or the first time we went back to the second verse they did blame it on the rain remember that so this time they do blame it on the rain they hit it they hit like a little like three little chord little hit so um blame it on the rain and bop, bop, and it's gonna be like a D, uh, C sharp major, C sharp F, and A flat. It's gonna be three hits on that. So gonna blow the rain. Bop, bop, bop. All right. So uh, so we, let's do it from the. A to core. Here we go. C sharp, F, A flat. And then we're going to be on A flat. All right. A flat, C, E flat. Then we're going to go to this, uh, this G flat. So we're going to play on this A flat for a second and then go to, to the, the G flat. All right. Let me take this thing. I don't know why I had it on. Let me take that off. Though. Play this thing. No, take it off. All right. So, so we're going for A flat, G flat, and then we about to change keys. All right. So let's um. So you're gonna go from A flat. So you're going from A flat to G flat, back 
that's the A flat for a little half a beat, and then he's gonna do, and then we're gonna be in the key of, um, I guess F, I guess. So let's uh, let's look at that. All right. So again, that transition is you going from the. Make sure I got that timer right. Make sure the timer right. Yeah. So you got. So that that you gotta blame it on something. Then he changed keys on that. Blame it on something. All right, so it's gonna be the same melody. Now we just in the key of F. So you got E, D, C, A. So you kind of like doing like an A minor run. A minor. So you got E, D, C, A. And then we're gonna be on this F chord. So A, C, F. All right, we almost done. All right. And then you're gonna do. The C triad, G, C, E, with C in the bass. All right. Let's do it. So, got that. Same, same idea, just different key. And then again. All right. And then we're going to go down to... So we got that melody. On the yeah. Ah, where am I at? All right. So let me show you that real quick. So you got um, uh, hit that bass. Got the same melody. Boom, 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 boom. Remember, blame it on a doing it backwards. Remember, I told you on the other key, it's the same thing in this key. So you got A, C, D, E off of A, and then you go to the F. A, C, D, E, and then you're gonna do the melody. So E, A, C, F, and then do the C over F. Bring the eight, the D down. So you got the G, C, E. So bring that D down to resolve it, and then you're gonna do the C, E, G, C. All right, so where we at? That's gonna be off of a G. Um, but we're gonna do the G right here. It's gonna be D, G, and B. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna do the uh Same idea, like I said, we did it here. Right, remember that? So now we just doing a half step up. All right, one thing I, I forgot to mention, um, because it's a lot going on in this part, but when they do that, uh, they kind of go back into the blaming on the rain. I forgot about that. So, um, but you can hear the voice doing it, so that's kind of how I could give you a, uh, gives you the notion to go back to the, to the, to that, to that part. So this is on that part where they go, uh, oh, let me give you the exact words they saying over that part.
Is this on the part when I say whatever you do? Whatever you do. And, and it's, it's that same way in both keys. So where's the other part? So it's whatever, whatever you do. So it's the same thing in that key too, in the key before. So like I said, I, I missed, I, I missed it. I left, uh, I left it out. But like I said, it's something that you should be able to pick up as far as um, you know, if you hopefully you watch my full video. So if you. I apologize if you don't stay to the end of my videos because sometimes I forget stuff because, you know, I'm human. So uh, hopefully you stay to the end and you got that little nugget. So um, the only other change is um, basically they go to this D minor chord. Um, but before that, they go into like a like a, a 90s thing where they do these hand claps. Lay me on the ring. No, they're clapping. Yeah. And the band is hitting. So basically they're hitting on that F. Lay me on the ring. Yeah. So they're basically hitting off of the F chord, uh, the F chord. Um, um, you can do any F chord, any C chord, basically. But um, this is what I was giving you, this A over C. So you could do, you could do the hit off of this chord. So blame it on the ring. And then when they go back to whatever you they uh so that when they go to uh whatever you do is the same thing whatever you do all right so like i said the only other change they go um they do like this uh well, it's still, it's still do that. Blame it on the rain. Cause it's like it's, it's pretty much like a, it's like a loop. It's this part. So um, it's the same chords, and they just like I said, they just don't like this like little breakdown clap. And they kind of like you know just having fun ad libbing and stuff. I'm listening to it right now. I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget nothing. So they just kind of loop, 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 loop the same two chords. And then when he says, whatever you do, you do that line again. And then they go to this chord. For some reason, on that blame it on something, they just go to this, this D minor. They gotta blame it on something. It's the last chord of the song. Gotta blame it on something. Then they go back to blame it on the rain. So it's pretty much this, this the same chords loop re loop on there. So um but he just, just just after they do the, the breakdown and the hits, he just go um they just go to this D minor chord, they hold that down for a little bit, and then they just go back to blame on the rain. So hope you enjoyed that lesson, guys. If you got any questions, always hit me up on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, catch your keyboard guy. Um, so you know, take that. And hopefully you guys can um, vibe with that. And, um, you know, like I said, hit me up if you need some help. But I'm um, signing off here. Casual Keeper guy. Love y'all. Peace.